and we're back to talk about how to uh, properly finish off uh, working with Stingray. So previously, uh, last night, we talked about the process of cutting the Stingray, how you need the uh, some very specific shears to, in order to do so, but for today, We're going to talk about how to properly smooth out the edges on on a piece of stingray. Bring these a bit closer. That piece, these two side pieces. The holes haven't been punched in this yet because I'm going to glue it to this part first. Like I said, to properly smooth out this material here, you're going to need a Dremel or if you have the space a larger belt sander or something like that alright so you can see a little bit how it's raised above the uh, the leather here that's ideal because you're gonna wanna bring this down to this level so the 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 harder part of this one is just keeping a good solid wrist position on both pieces you don't want to start like this or like that because then you'd be taking off too much from the front all right so my previous camera kept overheating so we are going to have to roll over here to the to the GoPro and we're gonna continue on talking about the proper way to uh, smooth out the the edges of stingray hide when you're working with it so let's reposition a bit. Want to make sure that you're holding this nice and steady and that you're keeping this as flat as possible. More here, less like this, less like that. All right. Switching over to time lapse, right? So this here only takes about 33 seconds on camera, however, it actually took just over 18 minutes to do. So that's 18 minutes to shape three small pieces. And that is why Stingray is so costly. You know, keep in mind, Stingray isn't overpriced, but is certainly not cheap. It takes so much effort and so much work and so much specialty tools and everything to to get it to, to the point where it, it can be stitched. Um, I think this tool sh here should do the job. However, I know it's made for cowhide, so I might have to use uh, something different to, uh, and sturdier to make sure that it punches through. What you just saw is the reason why Stingray is not cheap. In my opinion, it's still worth it. it. It does have a great, great look. And like I said previously, it is incredibly durable. But it's more than just cut, bevel, smooth burnish and then stitch that cannot just happen with stingray there's a lot more effort that needs to go into that one so thanks for sticking around through the multiple camera changes and everything this has been yet another episode of quarantine content i'm jay renard thanks for letting me take up some of your time and i'm out peace